Alright, welcome everybody to a new little side series that I'm going to be doing next to Roadkill, which is going to be called Roadkill Projects. So basically what it's going to be is, is that I'm going to, it's not going to be every single Saturday. I'm not going to do this every single Saturday. That's all that I want to say. This isn't going to be a consistent series like Roadkill. But of course, for this project right here, we're going to be doing a little bit of a consistency just to see, you know, how I like it, how I like recording it, because it's more or less going to focus on the build-up of a car. It's not going to be a build and then instantly road trip it. This is actually going to be more of doing things a little bit more right and making a car run good. Of course, in roadkill fashion, it's always, you know, rush to throw a motor in it and you go. Or it's a shootout and everything is bound to break. But, for this, it's going to be a little bit more legitimately done. It's going to be, you know, nicely done. And, we're going to start out with this car in front of me, which I'm going to call Turbo 6. This is going to be called Project Turbo 6. Now, how the videos are going to work is, is that every episode that I do, we're going to work on a different car. And, you know, some of them might actually be roadkill vehicles. There's ideas that I've wanted to do with General Hawk, there's stuff that we could do with the Rotson, there's a lot of roadkill vehicles that we could work on, the burn side. So, this is basically going to be a mix of adding new vehicles, but doing them right, but also taking current roadkill cars and making them better. Now, of course, Gen General Hawk, that car is already perfect, but the car could use, a, you know, a little bit of work. I thought about maybe swapping an automatic into it so then the car can, you know, it can hold boost more consistently, it can it can have a little bit better of a, of a nitrous curve rather than, you know, having the manual transmission and shifting through, but this episode, this is the car that we're going to focus on. So right here we have a Barstow, one of my favorite cars to use and also one of, um, I think one of the most customizable muscle cars that BMG has, and for once, I'm ditching a V8. Yes, this car is a track sport edition. It used to have a V8 in it, but instead, we're going to be throwing in a turbocharged six-cylinder for this car. Now, I want to run high boost eventually. I want to have the motor, you know, somewhat reliable. It's going to be a four-speed manual. I'm not going to throw a race transmission in it. Put new tires on it. But the thing that most importantly needs to be done to it is a rear end swap. I want to run leaf springs instead of the four link. So we're going to be putting a new, a whole new rear suspension in it. I've already converted a lot of the suspension of this car back to stock because it had all race suspension in it, which I don't want in the car yet because I mainly want this car to be good at drag racing. So, yeah, but it's weird that I'm ditching a V8 for a six-cylinder for once, but I couldn't resist, you know, the opportunity to put a really cool motor into a car and, you know, make some, you know, cool project car out of it. Now, of course, you're probably not used to um, me doing this, you know, having a car that isn't rusty or falling apart, this thing's actually, you know, pretty nice. And that's how I wanted to stay. I kind of wanted to add a little bit more of a nice factor to the BMNG cars that I have. And I have been behind the scenes, but I think I'd rather film it and also use it as more of an opportunity to add more cars to the fleet. So, we're going to get started here, and the first thing that I want to do is throw the motor that we're going to be putting into it. Before I do any of the suspension swap or anything, I want to see how fast the car is going to be with just the stack, with the stack, the stock motor, and turbo kit. So, for the engine, we're going to be running a 242 cubic inch i6 turbo engine, which... It's a relatively big engine. It's 
got a cool sound. Um, you know, it's a, it's a nice motor. Now I'm gonna leave it stock here. I'm not gonna, you know, really put any really anything in it in, into it yet. I'm just gonna put, you know, the turbo kit on it. I'm gonna run the car. We're gonna see how it runs. Is the right trans in it though? Because I think this does go into the car with an auto. Yeah, three-speed automatic. I want a four-speed manual. Reason behind me doing a four-speed manual, I don't really know. But I just thought it's a nice transmission. Usually four-speed automatics are the best transmission for drag racing. But there you go. There's the motor. Now Let's see how long it takes to spool. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pig. if we, you know, make the block a little bit stronger and maybe put some nitrous into it, I think the car will definitely, uh, it'll do a lot better. I do like the turbo noise, though. It's very nice turbo noises. Now, this car is a stock limited slip, so... I gotta see if you can pass the burnout test. I had a launch, I might do a launch up here before I did. I like to do, do burnouts on and some launches. And also, I'm getting rid of these tires and rims. I don't like these tires and rims up here. I got a much better setup for this car. So let's see how well it can do a burnout. Oh man. <laughs> oh no. Well. Maybe let's try putting it in second gear. No, it won't even go in second gear. Oh, and I'm roasting the clutch. All right. Well. Car's already overheating. The clutch is already burnt up. <laughs> oh, man. This is, uh... Yeah, this is bad. All right. Should be okay, too. Nope, that clutch is still steaming. Alright, let's try to launch. I'll maybe try to launch at... Let's try three grand. to kind of launch when I'm in the boost. It's probably going to have to be around four grand, I'd imagine. <laughs> I 
<laughs> wow, this car does not want to launch well. Wouldn't be surprised if the transmission is going to slipper a little now since it gets the clutch so heated. It does feel like it's shifting a little bit later too. I'm gonna try to do is at least the rolling burnout. Won't even do that. This thing will not spin the tires. Man. Alright. That's just opportunity to do a little bit more work for the car, because I do want the car to at least, you know, do a burnout, have some have some decent traction and put the leaf springs on. Now I know I'm pretty sure the four link is better for drag racing, but the leaf springs, I feel like that they absorb a little bit more. So I don't know, in theory, I might be making the car worse by putting a leaf spring suspension in the rear, but my preference. All right, so what to do next is, For the engine, let's put in a stage one performance long block. Give the engine a little bit more horsepower. But, just to be safe, I'm going to put an adjustable rev limiter. It still revs the seven grand. That isn't bad. It's gonna, it's gonna rev a little bit better, hopefully. Um, exhaust though, I want some side pipes. Uh, I think B was a pretty nice side pipe. No, that was the weird looking ones. C. Might also get the engine to pop a little bit more, you know, give some crackles. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. All right. So I see that this says adjustable turbo. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you can turn, you can tune the turbo. Oh. So this turbo can make five pounds of boost. I might, you know, just to be risky. Let's put it at 15 pounds. And we'll leave the wastegate start at two. Oh man, I feel like that that's, that's... <laughs> I feel like that's a bad idea. <laughs> I might blow the motor up. <laughs> oh, no, the car actually makes a little bit more power. It's getting up to 10 pounds of boost. That is awesome. I wonder if we can do burnouts now. Oh yeah. All right. Well, that that definitely brought this engine to life. All right. That is awesome. Can I launch in the boost now? Oh, but 
it's definitely hitting a higher amount of boost faster. Alright, that's awesome. Alright, well, there's only really a few things left to do to the car. It's just the rear end swap and the put on a radiator, put the hood back on. And I'm gonna get this thing to a drag strip and we're gonna see how fast it can go in the quarter mile. So, I'm gonna make the final adjustments to the car, put the new tires on it, and I'll see you at the drag strip. All right, so we're now out in California, and I do have to say, this car cruises. It's very good. But I got the car all done. The hood is back on it. I put a different grill on, just to try and maybe set the car apart from other Varsos. I thought it'd be pretty unique to put a single head headlight grill instead of the double headlights or one of the grills that flip up. But it looks nice. It's got that old muscle car yellow headlights look to it. The leaf spring suspension is on and this car is basically all stock suspension. It's got the limited slip diff in it. I put these lovely two-toned tires on, well rims, which I think they look a little bit better in the car than the, uh, the five-slot mags. One of the exhaust pipes is hanging. Huh. Must be a bug. Oh well, it's livable. Yeah, it's falling back down again. That's weird. But. We're going to take it down the strip a few times, we're going to see its top speed, and then I'm also going to try to time how fast the car is. So, let's see how well of a burnout it does now. Alright, that's pretty good. for 10 pounds of boost. Might want to put a little bit of a grippier tire on, but it works. Now, I'm going to attempt to time how fast the car is. I don't know how I'm going to do it, Dumping the clutch. Eh, I could load up that scenario. You know what? Let's try this. I'm gonna try something that I've never thought of trying. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm gonna try to drag strip scenario out. Let's see how it goes. Seven. I can probably get a little faster. Launching hard really made the car go faster. Alright, 
one more, but I'm gonna do it in... I would be able to build a car and go to the drag strip and make it slower. Yeah. 12-7. <laughs> That's going to be the best run I'm going to get out of this thing. But... That's, um, that's going to do it for this episode. So, hopefully you have enjoyed this start to a new series that I'm going to do every every once in a while on a Saturday. I'm not going to do it constantly like I do Roadkill, but this is going to be a nice little side series to kind of bring more cars into the fleet and also work on other ones and, you know, show everybody the process behind it. But, hopefully you enjoyed... I'll see you next time. Goodbye.